this is how you can use Codex as a non-technical person. Um, you just describe a task, you make sure it's connected to GitHub. You can ask it questions where it won't write code, or you can choose the code option where it will write code. And you can see these a bunch of tasks that I've used for my personal site here. The last one was animate the text on page loads. So ref refreshing that, you'll see there's an animation there. Um, you can set it on concurrent tasks. You can send a bunch of different things. So we'll do that in a second. But first things first is having a GitHub account and you need to create a repository. So we do that here. Personal test, leave that as public. We're gonna add a readme file just so the project is not empty. We've kicked it off. And then if we go to Codex, you need to connect your GitHub. So I have a few environments here. So this is nothing to be worried about really. Just, yeah, I've just created that one. So refresh this. Personal test. Okay, so create that. Basically just connecting GitHub to this. So this, if we go to personal test, there's nothing in there. Whoops. There's nothing in here. Even in the README, there's nothing actually in there. Um, so let's start a few tasks. Landing page of my fund. Put a tagline and a number of bullets underneath. If we do that there, we'll just show you how it works. So this is creating a new task. It's just starting its own environment where it can write the code and test the code. There's a lot more in the environments piece that we can go into at the end. Okay, so this is the end output. It'll show you what it's done. So this is what it's created in the README. And then if you look at the logs, you can just see all the things that it went through to get to that point. So you can see here, it says that this is on the README. So if we look at the README and refresh, it doesn't have that because we have to push it using this button. Now, if you create a new PR, which is a pull request, and effectively, Code is like one main branch. This is your code. This is the working code. When you have a new feature, you split it off into a new branch. And you can have several new branches. And then when they run their tests and they're all successful and fine to be merged back, you merge them back. And that's what we're going to do now. So view pull request, add Ben's Bytes Fund landing page, add a simple landing page, update the readme. Here there are no conflicts, so we can merge it. Confirm merge, that will then merge it back to the main branch and then be just one sort of working branch here. So it says two branches, we merged it in here. Now what we want to do is actually push it. We want to have a page where we can see it. So if we deploy from branch from the main one, keep that as root saves, so that's the where we want the website to be served is from all the main stuff at the main branch. Yeah, it just took a second and refreshed. It says your site is live here. You can also do a custom domain as well. So you visit the site, we should have Ben's Bytes Fund. Okay, so we've got a link. We can send that to people. We've now got this that worked. You should now see this will say merged on this repository. So that is all good. So now what we want to try and do is a couple of changes at once. Um, so let's try and add a few tasks. Add social links that open in new tabs to uh, so let's do that. And then I'll say make a light dark mode icon button switcher. Use Lucid icons. And then um, add a, an icon button that switches the background to have a grid instead of plain block color. Okay, so we've set up three different tasks there. They're all going to have their separate branches. So we're going to see how it all works. So we'll wait till one of them is ready and then we'll start sort of adding them to our code and then just seeing that whole experience.
and obviously these are very simple tasks um i think you can i think you can do like eight concurrently so actually this one's already done so here follow ben it's got a bunch of my things there so we'll just push that there and then what else do we have this is almost done so you can see this added six lines of code didn't remove any this is added 60 I remove three let's push that as well um mm -mm -mm. this one's not done yet so if we go here and go to pull requests we should see there are two so that one all been done pull that one so when you merge it you'll see this where it says pending so when it when it says success it'll then be live on your url so we just wait for that okay so that pending has now gone to success so if we refresh our page okay we've got some links great so let's go back to the other pull requests i think this one's done as well the icon button background so we create a pull request with that this is the theme toggle just this conf this conflicts that must be resolved so this is something that does happen because of codex and you do all these different branches and you're working on different things that something else might have might have conflicts with what you want to do so what i've been doing is ignoring this and then redoing the task basically um so if we try and do this one i imagine this won't be the same Yeah, so there are conflicts. So if you look at the conflicts, you'll see it shows you. Wait a second, that wasn't there before, but now it is. Um, and I think you can. Just delete any of the comments there and then. That should be resolved. Let's commit that merge. Okay, so we can do it that way. Um, and that's actually touching the code. I mean, you can just go back to codex. And you can leave, if you haven't merged them, they'll just stay open like this one. So then you can just re-ask re it, because it's, it's going to pull in the latest information anyway. Um, but if we look at... wait for the icon button for the grid so if we look at this one that resolve conflicts again it's got a couple of things that it's added so it's basically told you told us that this is where codex has come in added these two things so there's bits there so i don't really want to touch that because i can't code um so if i really wanted to do it again Copy, just do that again there. Ignore those conflicts for now. This should have a button for the grid. Okay, great, that works. Um, and then yeah, we'll just let this add the dark, light dark mode switcher. But yeah, the, the issue with this is it's great for one task, multiple tasks at a time, but if they're all gonna be on the same file you're going to end up with conflicts so i've been doing one task at a time or putting more than one task in each request that i'm giving codex sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't this is obviously the early version of what this kind of experience looks like and you can see where it's going to go i think with sort of background agents and being able to preview things and testing inside your um codex i mean they they have the environments but this is more for if we go to this one for example um you can have advanced where you set environment variables you set pip install npm install anything you've got package dependencies all that kind of stuff so that has a bunch of stuff here that you can also then create tests for and do things that way but mostly 
non-technical people are going to be using it as like this is my interface of code i code here um and i go to github to accept the new changes so if we do that I should see a pull request in a second So that should be here, no conflicts. Let's merge this one. And then we can go to the other one and get rid of that one. We'll just close this one. We don't want it. And then when this is updated, we'll have a look on our site. Okay, so now that's done, let's have a look on our site. Okay, we've got this dark mode, light mode switcher. It's not actually switching the icon. And obviously this is a bit funky, but yeah, this is what you can do with Codex. You can basically spin up something. You've got to be connected to GitHub. So you've got to understand pieces of that. We've got a GitHub um, for non-technical non people post that I will link. But yeah, it's a very simple way to just have, this is where we do coding. So prompt, spit out code, pull request, accept the pull request. And so that is the iteration. That's the workflow. Um, 